Welcome back, mathematicians. In this video, we're going to solve an equation that's in quadratic form. So we have x plus 2 times the square root of x minus 3 is equal to 0. And what we want to do, what our strategy should be, is to let u equal some expression that will convert this over into a quadratic equation that's in the form a times u squared plus b times u plus c is equal to 0. So what we know here, and a, and a good place for us to, to start to look at, is that we have 2 times the square root of x, and we want that to be 2 times u. So let's let u equal the square root of x. Now that replaces the square root of x with u, but how do we deal with the fact that our first term is just x, and it's not in terms of the square root of x? So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to take that u, and we're going to square it, which means we're also going to square the square root of x, which gives us u squared is equal to x. So we can actually replace that first term, x, with u squared, and then we still have minus 3 is equal to 0. So now we have a quadratic equation that's in terms of u, and we can solve it using the strategies of factoring, completing the squares, or the quadratic formula. Well, I choose to factor, so I'm going to have two factors, u plus 3, and u minus 1 is equal to 0. I'm now going to use my zero product property to say u plus 3 is equal to 0, and u minus 1 is equal to 0, and so u is equal to negative 3, and u is equal to positive 1. Well now, and, and don't forget that we solve for u, but we want to solve for x, so we need to replace u with what we decided, what we determined earlier on, that u is equal to. So we're going to replace u with the square root of x, and solve these two equations. Now what you notice right away, and I know your general instinct is to say, okay, let's square both sides to all of them, but let's slow down here. What we see here is that the square root of x is equal to negative three. Well, that can't happen. There's no number where you can square root that number and get a negative number as a result. That just can't happen. So this is not a real solution and should not be included in your solution set. You do not square both sides, you're done. And it, by the way, if you were to square both sides and then get those answers and substitute them back into the original equation, you would find that they would not work. Now let's go to our second equation and we would square both sides to undo the square root on the left side. And so what we would get is x is equal to positive one. And that is your one and only solution. All right guys, good luck.